Welcome to the second week of our art therapy with watercolor techniques. Um, today we're going to look at um, uh, how to release uh, negative energy, uh, negative emotions. We as a society and as uh, our culture, we have more experience in expressing our positive emotions. If a, a special occasion like birthday, uh, getting a promotion or weddings and things like that, we celebrate, we express our joy and happiness. But we don't have much experience in expressing or releasing the negative emotions such as anger, sa uh, sadness, uh, anxiety, uh, depress. Um, so um, using the wet brush technique, uh, first uh, you need to identify some of the emotion that you want to release with this technique. So write them down. Um, you know, it's always good to check um, what are some of the emotion I felt since this morning, this week, some of the one that it keep bothering me. So then write them down. And then here are some uh, sample that you will see in the demonstration later. Uh, this is to let go of just like uh, emotions uh, by tilting the, the cardboard. And this is just releasing by doing it diagonally. Uh, I will send pictures of this so you can see clearer. Uh, this is um, pounding the brush uh, to release some of the maybe anger, frustration, anxiety, uh, some <coughs> brush stroke, um, like quick brush, like one way, and then uh, other like uh, with the landscape. So um, uh, if you're ready, uh, we'll go to the demonstration. So now that you have identified some of the emotions that you want to release, so first, um, we have uh, two brushes here, uh, the flat brush, as I said before, and the round brush and the paint. I already spray it like five minutes ago, so that let it soak in, so it's easier for me to pick up the paint. Uh, two cups of water. I will um, use a piece of paper towel later to cover up this part of the, um, <clears throat> um, the, the paper, the watercolor paper. So now still doing the wet brush technique, which is uh, wetting the paper first before we putting the paint. So as I am um, putting down the water, I'm thinking of what color I uh, identify or associate the emotion with. Um, <clears throat> so um, I had, um, look at what I felt today and I identify five emotions. Um, so using the round brush. Uh, so first, contentment. Uh, and this is not right way or wrong way of doing it. So for each person, uh, the color uh, can be different. For me, contentment um, with yellow, it can be spiritual. So I'm going to use this yellow and tilting my paper, um, one, one end. And I can also adding some water, but I'm tilting it diagonally. So letting the <clears throat> releasing some of that, that contentment. So it doesn't have to be the negative emotions. Uh, I will show you some of the other way to release the uh, uh, negative emotions later. But uh, for now, let's do some happy emotion. Okay, so there's contentment, some calm, peaceful calm. And I'm using the light blue with that. And again, not trying, don't, don't you know, follow the urge to brush. Uh, this is um, respecting the characteristic of watercolor, allowing the water to do its work for you. Okay, so let me tilt one end. 
um, let me do magenta, which is my restful color. Well, because today is the weekend for me, so I'm able to um, identify some of the emotions that I will um, resting. So calming um, has a peaceful effect to it. So as you tilting the um, paper back and forth, um, let's do some kind of green. Let's do a green. Green is self-care. adding water to it. I like the combination of the magenta with the green. And just watch it floating. Okay, I have a choice. So I'm going to wipe off some of the excess water on the edges. So when I tilt on this end, it doesn't run back. Okay, so I want to you use this till from this this angle. Let me see uh, what color. Um, orange, energy, excitement. And then, like I said before, um, I like it like this. So um, let me doing some tapping of the yellow. So I'm covering up so that um, on the top piece of paper so it doesn't um, splatter over there. So I'm dipping water. Always dip your brush in water before you pick up paint. So you have a control of the diluting um, percentage of the paint and water. So I'm picking a lot and I'm tapping, spreading my joy all over. I like it. Okay, so that's one of the releasing of the positive emotions. I'm going to put that on the side. Let me put this uh, here. So let's do some negative emotions. Okay. Again, uh, I have uh, clean water and dirty water. So I'm using clean water. I'm wetting my paper again. I thoroughly wet it. So you look on the side, see if it's all shiny or wet. There might be some spot that's not uh, covered with water. Okay, because the water, this is watercolor, not color water. So the water will carry the, the the paint and let it float. Okay, so this one, especially with um, some of the intense emotion, it can be um, you do it diagonally. So I'm holding it, tilting it up diagonally this way. So um, let's say frustration and anger. So this is the corner that I'm holding it, tilting it. Um, continue to add more paint and water so that it's releasing that way. And the more water I add, uh, the faster it's, it's, it um, release. And I'm adding some more paint because it will dilute later on if I adding another color. Um, Okay, so now let me go to, let's say, black. Add water to it.
Okay. So. This, oh, and then on top of this, here's another technique with the wet brush. Watercolor is the uh, it's, it's, um, splattering. It's not a tapping, the splattering. So you want to hold this brush uh, tightly like this and you brush it, flick, flick, flick it this way or this way. Okay, let me show that. Okay, so this is. Um, so let me get some um, purple in there. Uh, you know, there's some sadness that come with my uh, frustration and anger. See that? So it's all in that um, the uh, the wrist and the and when you do this, tell say it out loud. I'm releasing my frustration, my anger, my sadness. Uh, do some more yellow or red in there. And this one, tapping it. So the, um, the paper is quite dry a little bit. And only the middle part that has the way that I'd let the, the red and the black drip has that. So um, let's put that aside. Okay, so for this one, let's release it also with wet brush technique, of course. Okay, so I'm going to use this brush and I'm loading up and then this one, uh, let me do magenta. Okay, so still frustration. This one you can um, um, like uh, doing the, 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 you know, pounding of, of my frustration there. See how it is releasing. Okay, let's do some purple. There's some a sense of um, catharsis, satisfaction in pounding your brush down on wet. And then let's do black and this. Okay. I'm also going to um, splatter some um, blue into that. This. Oops. Let me cover this up. So that's my third release of colors. Again, this one wet it. And we're going to brush, use some brush stroke to release. So back to my round brush and pick up, uh, let's do a good color. So it's like brown, let's go to brown. And I'm going to kind of flick it across the page like that. 
say out loud. I'm releasing my boredom. Okay. Let's do black. I like black. Doesn't doesn't stay true because it's mixing with brown. But oops. Okay, so here's a good opportunity for to show you how to fix your mistakes. So I accidentally get some paint on the other side of the page. You do is you use a big brush, flat brush, and with water, you scrub it up and use a paper towel to dab up. And it's almost as, as new. Okay, so let me put a piece of a paper towel on. So I'm not doing that again. Okay, so again, I can do like from the other direction. Make sure you're holding your brush back here. You have more uh, flexibility and control when you're doing this. Um, this uh, brush stroke is releasing. And then. Okay. Um, I like doing this. So when I have a lot of color, I should, would tap some clear water on it and it will create some of the blooms in there. So it's break up the textures in that. So we'll see, we'll look at it. So when it, <clears throat> it dry, it will look, it show up much better. Okay. And then this is the last one we're going to do. And Brushing water, clear water on it again. And this one, um, well, it's like last week, uh, the last demonstration. I will do somewhat, like look like um, a scenery. Um, it's also releasing, but it could be releasing of, um, you know, tranquility and peace. Um, you know, we we um, with the world that we're living in right now we can release some of those energy out. So I'm going to use um, this um, sienna brown, brown, and I'm just lightly um, going back and forth at the bottom and tilting it up a little bit, like it. So when it's <clears throat> running down a little bit, it has that texture there. A um, little bit of darker brown. See all that running, it's, it's really cool. <clears throat> so uh, this is grounding for me. Like uh, it's a releasing, but it's a grounding. And then let's do this bright light blue on top. A little bit of paint, not too much. And then if you accidentally, um, you know, pick up too much paint and put a glimpse of, of paint there, you can always add water and let it um, <clears throat> run. Because I'm holding uh, this end up a little bit, tilt it up. So you see the, the releasing of uh, the paint that running out down this way, bleeding this way. So let me do a little bit till blue on this side. So it's not. A bit darker, but, uh, and then the paper a little bit dry, so I'm tilting it so then it's kind of running. Uh, here in corridors, you can see sometimes you can see the sky look like this. Um, and then clean my brush, let's get some light orange in there a little bit, just touching it up, not, not too much. Okay, I'm going back and 
doing some of that because I like it. I can see the the brown, how it running, you know, has that um, texture so running down. And just get some brown orange in there. Some, this spot is drying up, so I'm just adding water to it. Uh, right here is too dark. Just lightly move the paint so that it has a. And then if you put too much paint, uh, one way is just using the paper towel to dab it up a little bit. See, and it has that uh, light texture there. Okay, let's give it a little bit dark blue, not too much, a little paint. And I'm kind of putting, tapping it around there. So this is a student grade paint, so it has some clumps into that. But it will, you know, brush it away when it dry. So no worries. Uh, magenta. Let's do some magenta in there for a bit. This is a perfect, perfect, um, you know, it's damp, but it's not too wet, not too dry. So you can move the paint around a little bit. So uh, see that I'm using the paper towel, I'm going in and just press down and lift up. So it has that, okay, so down here, I'm, I'm timing myself. So down here it's drying up. So now I'm going to go in with a little black. Uh, be confident, you know, uh, don't be bold in you know, your paint some once in a while. So, and maybe a spot of green in there, just here and there. And I think I'm done. All right, and see, so all this technique, you can do variety, try it out with different uh, color combination, and uh, hopefully you can um, um, practice and um, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, implement this in your life. Uh, it's a way of releasing some of the negative en energy. Um, the purpose of this is to have peace and happiness like this. All right, see you next week.